Good morning. We will pay attention to the general ledger today. Before you can record any entries in the general ledger, you must ensure that you know exactly if this is an asset, a liability, equity, expense, income. Because depending on the elements, you will decide whether the account must be debited or credited. And remember that for every entry that you complete in the general ledger, in one account you will record the entry on the debit side, and in a second account you will record the entry on the credit side. Assets are the property of the entity, so it's all the things that belong to the business and they have control over it, and very important in the future, it will lead to an income of money. Assets increase on the debit side, and assets will always have debit balances. Liabilities are claims from creditors or financial institutions that you owe money to, for instance, a loan or a mortgage loan. A liability is money that you owe to other people that you have to pay in the future that will lead to an outflow of money. So assets in the future will lead to an inflow of money. Liabilities in the future will lead to an outflow of money. Liabilities will increase on the credit side and the balance of a liability is always on the credit side. Equity is the interest of the owner in the assets of the entity or you can say that is the amount of money that the owner invested in the business, or it is the amount of money that the business owes the owner. Equity will always increase on the credit side and will always have a credit balance in the capital account and a debit balance in the drawings account. So we don't open an account for the owner on his name, if he contributes money to the business, we will open a capital account and if he takes goods or money from the business, we will record it in the drawings account. Expenses decreases the profit of the entity. The purpose of the business is to make a profit. When income is received, the profit increases and when expenses are paid, the profit of the business will decrease. Expenses always increase on the debit side and expenses will always have debit balance. Income will increase the profit. So every time when the business have uh, income, the profits of the business will be bigger. Income increase on the credit side and will always have a credit balance. We can use the word Alice to remember which accounts increase on the debit side and which ones will increase on the credit side. If I take the first letter of Alice and the last letter of Alice, it is assets and expenses will increase on the debit side. If we take the letters inside the word, that's liability, income, capital, they will increase on the credit side. In the general ledger, you will uh, open an account for every uh, element. That means for every asset, you will have a separate account for every expense, every liability, every income. Well, each one of them will have their own uh, account. You will write the name of the account at the top, for instance, the capital account, the Left-hand side of the account is the debit side and the right-hand side of the account is the credit side. If we look at this account, it means that this account is split in two and there you have the debit side on the left-hand side and you have the credit side on the right-hand side. And if you look at the account, you see that we've divided the account into this debit and credit, and that looks like a T. That's why we sometimes refer to the general ledger as T accounts. 
it is very important to remember that when you do the ledger accounts, you will open two accounts. For instance, the owner contributes money to the business and we deposit the money immediately. So I will write the name of the account at the top of the T. The debit side is on the left hand side. The credit side is on the right hand side. If we receive money, we will put the money in the bank. Bank is an asset, so you will debit the asset account with a thousand rand. Because I entered this entry on the debit side, I have to complete a double entry on the credit side, and I will credit the capital account on the credit side. Owner's equity, that is capital, will increase on the credit side. The word that I write in this details column here is the name of my double entry. So in my bank account, I will write the word capital to indicate that this double entry will be recorded in the capital account. And in the capital account, you will write the word bank to indicate that this double entry appears in the bank account on the debit side. So it's very important to remember that the left hand side is the debit side, the right hand side is the credit side. For every entry you have to complete one entry on the debit side and one entry on the credit side. And you have to indicate that this amount will appear in two accounts the word that I write in the account indicates where is my double entry. If we look at this general ledger, you see that you have to record the date on which the transaction occurred. Then the details will be this name of your double entry account. Folio we will use when we start doing the subsidiary journal, so you don't use it at this stage. And the amount is, for instance, in this case, the thousand rand. Assets increase on the debit side, and the balance is always on the debit side. Liabilities increase on the credit side, and the balance is always on the credit side. Expenses increase on the debit side, and the balance is on the debit side and income will increase on the credit side and the balance is on the credit side. Owner's equity is the interest of the owner in the business or the amount of money that the business owes the owner that will increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side. We open two accounts for the owner. The one account is capital and the other account is drawings. When the owner contributes capital, it means that he puts more money into the business, so his owner's equity will increase because the business owes him more money or his interest in the business increased. If he takes goods or money out of the business, we will debit the drawings account, so in the drawings account, the balance will be on the debit side, and drawings in the ledger account will increase on the debit side. But what is the effect of this transaction? When the owner takes money or goods for himself, it means that the business owes him less money or he has less interest in the business, so the owner's equity will decrease. The whole purpose of a business is to make a profit so every time when income is received, income will increase on the credit side. And when we receive income, the profit will increase. So the owner will get more profit. So owner's equity will increase. Expenses increase on the debit side in the ledger accounts. And when we pay expenses, the profits decrease and therefore the owner will get less profit and the owner's equity will decrease. So it's very important to remember that owner's equity is affected by capital, 
drawings, the two accounts of the owner, all the income and all the expenses accounts. And any of these four accounts, if you record something on the debit side, it will reduce owner's equity. Any of these accounts, if you record it on the credit side, it will increase owner's equity.